மகாகணபத் மனசாஸ்மராமி மகாதேவ முதோ சிரசா நமாமி மகாகணபத் மனசாஸ்மராமி which which whose meaning is is revealing the adhikar the adhikaritvam arjavam we have seen amanitvam adambitvam ahimsa as a value dharma these are attitudes amanitvam is an attitude adambitvam is an attitude ahimsa is a value dharma shanti hi attitude again arjavam value is a value in terms of living in your transactions are the root ruju bhava ruju means straight ruju bhava so ruju so the arjava means ruju bhava that is is a straight forwardness So generally, we straight forward, straight forward. This we use the word here. Arjavam, what is straight between action and word? There is alignment. You give a word, and then you fulfill that. So the word and action are aligned. There is ruju bhavam. It is not crooked. It is not bent. It is not that what you say is one thing, what you do is another. Doing and saying are one and the same. One more alignment. What you think and what you say, they have alignment. You say. what you know that means you don't say what is not true and therefore you can keep silent there is no there is no issue but when you say it is meant it is exactly as you know and this is called ruju bhavam between thought word and deed there is alignment all that you say is what you know and all that you do is what you have said so between the action and the word there is alignment between the word and the thought there is alignment so this the maintenance of this alignment is a value satyam they call it as satyam ruju bhavam here satyam is so satya walk the satya bhashanam what is true you say therefore satyam bruyat this is a vedic value satyam bruyat may one speak what is true then priyam bruyat what is satyam if it should be said in a in a pleasing way hitam bruyat priyam bruyat what pleases the person satyam api 
apriyam na bhuyat if it is not going to be received happily why do you say that you quite unless you are asked for it you are in a position to say the teacher is empowered to say what is true even though it is unpleasant that is his job because unpleasant therefore he cannot keep quiet and pleasant also he has to say pleasant also he has to say and we are is empowered because he is accepted as a teacher and even unpleasant to be he has to tell but in common relationship transactions satyam api apriyam na bhuyat please wait for time to say so apriyam in the sense deshakala so certain things you say personally certain things you can you cannot say so in the public you know those things that can be said in the public is okay and certain things you have to say personally apriyam na bhuyat and if it becomes apriyam you can say but deshakala you have to see the place time etc apriyam that is apriyam that is not acceptable apriyam na bhuyat priyam bhuyat this is this is one step the veda goes one more step you say what you know all that you know you need not say all that you know you need not say because then we will be saying things you know so you what you know about the other person you say and he tells when he tells he say he includes your grandfather also <laughs> that too so this this is that this is that we don't need that what they say now so satyam vachmi i speak to ritam vachmi ritam also satyam both are satyam the word ritam and satyam mean the same things as synonyms but then ritam vadishyami satyam vadishyami so twice you say ritam vadishyami ritam vachmi satyam vachmi why because this is a very common in india you ask yeah so very sure and asher how to go and this fellow is going towards the bazaar <laughs> and then somebody asks him this fellow the, the uh, how to go to sure and asher sidha jaiye go straight you go straight you go to haridwar <laughs> so is it sidha jaiye kirtan yeah the he thinks the ashram is somewhere there and is wrong information he has got and uh, or or he he doesn't even care <laughs> so just let him go he doesn't even know the places he doesn't know uh, he says i don't know he doesn't say see that guy so he doesn't want to say that i don't know and that is that is called asatyam that is asatyam now he is saying the truth what is truth what you think and what you say they have alignment arjav there is arjav what you say is what you think but what you think is lousy so that is a problem what you think is wrong so you think wrong 
and tell the truth. <laughs> what is the use of this truth nonsense? And therefore, you need to think also correct and then tell the truth. Tell what you think. Therefore, so you have to make sure when you are giving advice to that fellow, whether what is asked for is this side or that side, he should know very clearly. And if he doesn't know very clearly, or he thinks, I am, I know very clearly, but it is not true, that means he has an erroneous perception, erroneous knowledge. And it is important on the part of an individual to, to know. So when you want to say something, then whether you have verified, you have really ascertained this is true or not. This is what we call vichara. So we have to do vichara, ascertained knowledge. Then only you are sure. Unascertained is not sure knowledge. So whatever knowledge you have, it is ascertained knowledge. And between whatever originally insight you get, then the ascertained knowledge, settled knowledge, there is a gap, a process of analysis, of inquiry, further inquiry. You negate and then make sure all possible wrong conclusions so are negated and then ascertain. The topic is different. But whether this place is here or not, this is a simple topic. If it is something like self-knowledge, it is, or any topic, real topic, profound topic, then you have to ascertain whether you have grasped it or not. And that implies a process of inquiry, analysis. This is what we say, vicharaha. So that inquiry leads to ascertained knowledge. And therefore, we say, what do you, you pray, you say, what you say is true to your thinking and what you think is true to the fact. It's true to the, 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 the true to the object, whatever the topic. So that is the responsibility. That is called human responsibility and a human being should make sure that he or she, what he or she knows is knowledge. It is true. It cannot be negated. Abhaditam jnanam. It is abhaditam. It is not subject to negation. And therefore, we have all this inquiry. Therefore, we have two words now. So, the Vedic view and way of living is, is very clear. How one should live. That's what he says, Arjavam, Rutam Vachmi, Satyam Vachmi. So whatever you think you know, is ascertained. Yes, true. This is true. If you are vague, still you can tell, I am vague, then that is true. I am not very clear, this is what I think is true, but I am not very clear, so that that person is cautious. You don't mislead that fellow. And therefore, Rutam Vachmi, Satyam Vachmi, that's why when people come and talk, self-appointed gurus, and talk irresponsibly, I feel uh, this is, uh, this is, this has nothing to do with what is to be said, you know. Nothing to do with our culture. So our culture is what culture? What you say must be true, always.
is the whole Pritek Ramayana and Mahabharata, it's all words. The Sharata, the king, the emperor, gave this Kaikei, this woman from Kakas Mountains, those days. Kaikei Desha. Kaikei Desha. And so this, this he gave her uh, you know, some boon. This boon giving was a, was a big thing before. I give you two boons, blank checks. <laughs> they would never give blank checks. The Sharata's instruction, you know, <laughs> the Sharata, through his life, has given us an advice, never give blank checks. The Sharata gave two blank checks. You earn cash as you want. In good trust it was given. When Rama is eldest son, Dasharatha's eldest son, was to be anointed as the crown prince, date is announced. This for celebrations, of course, all the arrangements are going. This woman asks him, can you give me the boon that you promised? And he said, yes. And he said, Bharata, my son, should be, should be made the crown prince. That was a shock. Enough, good enough. But then, one more thing. And Rama should go to the forest. For 18 years. Why? What? Rama should go to the forest? Because if he is there, so we will, people, he is a rival. People will still respect Rama. My Bharata should be respected. Therefore, Bharata should be the king. And he should go to the forest for 18 years. By the time he can be well settled. That was her book. The Sarata, the Sarata's all heart, love, everything is Rama. And Rama is sent to the, be sent to the forest. He cries, he pleads, he falls at her feet, begs her, please, don't ask, let Bharata rule. Why should he go to the forest? Rama, what he has done to you? He respects you, loves you. Why? No, that's what it is. He has to go. He is the Sarata, the Emperor. He is the court. He is the final word. All that he has to say, which boon you are talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the other day you gave some boon. What boon? <laughs> I didn't give you boon. I said you can ask for a sari or something. <laughs> <laughs> what boon? Who gave? So where she can go and appeal to? Where she will appeal to? He is the court of appeal. He can say, get lost. Go to Caucasus Mountains. <laughs> I assume this is <laughs> Good. Yes, last. That's all what he has to say. He pleads. What I say, the Shirata 
lived up to his words is not dharma. It's not dharma. Desharata proved himself that he was incapable of going again. He died. Sound word that sets the whole way of thinking, living, incapable going against the word. He gave up his life. He didn't go against the word. And he told Rama, Rama, I had given a word, I cannot go again. But you have not given a word. You can say, no, I won't go. And he said, my father has given a word. My duty is to uphold father's word. Pitru Vakya Pariparanartam. Vakya, the word. Pariparanartam. For protecting the truth of my father's word. To uphold my father's word he is final. And for that purpose, I will go to the forest, I will go to the North Pole. If I have to give up my life, I will give up. And this, this Rama said that I can't think of that this cannot come from you. I am going. And Bharata, when he came to know, at that time he was not there. When he came to know, he cried, what you have done? <laughs> he went to his mother's parents' place for a holiday. He comes back, cries. Rama has already left. He catches him up and asks him to come back. Now I am giving you. You please come back. I am not taking this kingdom. He won't come back. No, no, that's not word. Given word is word and word. You rule the kingdom. And then he ruled the kingdom. He said, I won't rule the kingdom. You are the ruler. Give me your sandals. I will put them on the throne. And I, I will rule the kingdom on your behalf. The sandals will rule the kingdom. He established Rama Rajya. Not Rama. He came back and saw the Ramarajya. Bharata. Bharata is the character. In Ramayana, each one comes out like that. Lakshmana is another character. Bharata is the most enlightened among them. Very, very good administrator. He established Ramarajya. Ramarajya means there's no beggary, there's no theft, and there is no, there is no uh, cheating, deception, all, all the jails are empty. Police has no work. So that is Ramarai.
before it's all words it's a, it's a very very important thing therefore in sanskrit in he the 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 first person in english i first person you second person i talk i talk to you about what the subject matter i talk about i talk about ramayana i talk about dasharatha so dasharatha becomes third person the object of third person subject matter so what do you talk about is third person who you talk to second person who talks first person i talk okay so first first in sanskrit is prathamaha first is prathama but person purusha perfect purusha is person no male comes female comes in this person then prathama purushah first person the first person must be i that is the meaning first person but in sanskrit prathama purushah is english third third person the topic about which you are going to talk is to be the third person he is called first person prathama why it is called prathama prathama because order of importance it comes first prathama because order of importance so before talking you need to ascertain whether you have a topic to talk is important the eh? whole world will become very silent if you always talk after knowing whether it is worth talking examining whether it is worth talking we will be mown up because there is that much worth talking you talk you talk something because you want to talk something people talk because they need to talk something It's not that they have something to talk, therefore they talk. They have to talk something, therefore they talk. So there is there is a lot of difference between you have something to talk or you have to talk something. So the order of importance must be whether you have a topic to talk at a time. That is prathama purusha. the topic is first then afterwards importance in talk also you have to pay importance how do you talk what why why the adjective if there is an adjective what for you use an adjective you have to think all that it is you cannot talk but then it should become your nature because of value because of your commitment you don't exaggerate there's no hyperbole too many talk that yeah just a part this this beautiful and cute <laughs> and very well shaped part look at this part so many adjectives 
And some people will say celestial and the divine. You can see God's hands there. How? Oh, they can use projecting. That's how then that book printing press is available. <laughs> Then you can go publish it also, and there are people to buy also. <laughs> and they read also, and then after all, they will ask questions to me, <laughs> because I am sitting quietly here. <laughs> and I will get the questions. <laughs> read all these books and get asked questions. What I say, so this Paying attention to what words you use also is a very important thing. गणपत मनसा स्मरा में महादेव मुदों शिरसा नमा महा गणपत मनसा स्मरा में भारत देश हिताय कुरु सेवां तुम कुरु सेवां तुम कुरु सेवां तुम कुरु सेवां